Good afternoon. It's 225, wet and cloudy. I'm Justin Emanuel. And I'm Stephanie Gick. Here's what you need to know. Florence Henderson, who passed away from heart failure today, once said that she was comfortable with the fact that the Brady Bunch was her signature role, saying that she appreciated all the affection that she got from her fan base. Here's the story of a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely girls. Henderson lived a life of acting right from the beginning, learning to sing at just the age of two, having memorized 50 songs by heart. At eight, she was already singing in public to anyone who would listen, starting in local grocery stores and eventually making money from music establishments by 16. Throughout her whole life, she was known to have a warm and welcoming personality, working well with others, other cast members throughout her career. An Amber Alert was issued yesterday in Vancouver for a four-year-old girl, and police believe the abductor is her mother, Angela Felton. Vancouver's Beth Layton has more about the abduction of young Delilah. We don't believe that Angela has the capability of taking care of Delilah. Vancouver Acting Sergeant Brian Montague says 46-year-old Angela Hanley has never had custody of Delilah, and there's concern because she lacks the home, car, cell phone, or skills to look after the little girl. Police doubt the two have left Metro Vancouver, and Montague urges Hanley's friends to help find her or for Hanley to drop her off safely. He says the public can help, too. We'll look at these photos and ensure that Delilah gets home safely. Both Hanley and Felton have red hair and are likely using public transport, and and four-foot-tall Felton was last seen wearing a colorful, mostly red, rain jacket. Beth Layton, The Canadian Press, Vancouver. It's no secret Canada's been seeking closer ties with China on various initiatives, and one of those initiatives is trying to work together to help stop the flow of illicit drugs that are being imported from China. However, when it comes to fentanyl, a drug similar to heroin, only much more deadly, what Canada considers a public health crisis, China may not see the same way. Fentanyl is not on China's list of controlled substances. Uh, nonetheless, efforts are continuing to be made to gain support for the anti-drug project. Four inmates have escaped from a maximum security prison in Santa Ana, California. Santa Clara County Sheriff Sergeant Rick Glennon says the inmates made their great escape using ropes made of bedding. Bars that were cut, and then also in the, the top picture, the, the bars that are missing for them to actually get out of the cell. You can also notice that the bed sheet, I think, is tied to one side and hanging out the window. Two of the inmates were captured just outside the prison, while two remain on the run. The men were last seen in an orange shirt and gray pants, and one of them has a distinctive facial tattoo surrounding his eye. A former University of Waterloo vice president has been charged with fraud. 63-year-old Kenneth McGillivray is accused of taking a number of personal uh, trips under false pretenses while serving as the university's vice president. The alleged frauds took place over a two-year period and included expense claims to the university for reimbursements worth more than $12,000. McGillivray was arrested at, by Waterloo Regional Police in Kitchener on Monday while, uh, when in the Toronto resident turned himself in in the Central Division. He is charged with fraud over $5,000, forgery, uttering forged documents, and criminal breach of trust. He is to appear in court next month. Ontario's Energy Minister, Glenn Thibault, choked up Tuesday while saying that it has been difficult to explain to his nine-year-old daughter that he is not a bad man. The politician says he won't be resigning after the Sudbury by-election bribery scandal, where he has been accused of seeking out certain benefits as part of his conditions to leave his job as an NDP MP and run in a by-election for the provincial Liberals. Thibault is not charged, but is named in a charge faced by the Premier's former Deputy Chief of Staff, who is alleged to have promised to get Thibault an office or employment to induce him to become a candidate. He has denied accusations and said he was neither offered nor asked for anything. The allegations have not been proven in court. That's your news. For CJIQ Sports, here's Nadia Elawad. After beating Sarnia 6-3, the Kitchener Rangers prepare for their game today at 7.30 against the Owen Sound, being the rivalry, rivalry's third face-off this season. The Owen Sound need to pull this game, as the Rangers are still ahead of them in, in the conference due to recent successes, holding four points ahead of Owen in the playoffs. Wilf Wilfred Laurier, Golden Hawks head coach Michael Folds, has been named Coach of the Year by U Sports, taking the place of 2003's Rick Zmich. On top of this, 14 members of the Golden Hawks have been named All-Canadians. This is Fold's fourth season, and in that time, he's turned around the track record of the Golden Hawks, giving them their best record since 2007. The Vancouver Canucks have extended Ben Hutton's contract for another two years. The extension is worth over $5.5 million. The defenseman made his debut uh, in, the NH in, the, in the NHL 
and the, and was the Canucks' leading scorer among defensemen last season, scoring 25 points. It is 2.20, it is 2.30, and now a look at CJIQ weather. Cloudy today with sunny breaks and a 40% chance of showers, high of 5 degrees. For tonight, clouds are going to continue with a 60% chance of showers that could turn into light snow. The overnight low is plus 2. For tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds with a 40, 40% chance of showers and a high of 5 degrees. We've reached our daytime high and are sitting at 5 degrees. For CJIQ, I'm Nadia Elawad. Here's a look at CJIQ Entertainment. Enter the Animus. His name is Callum Lynch. We've traced his bloodline back 500 years. 